Hey guys, welcome to Ripping an Email Apart Monday. Uh, I do sign up to a lot of content, so I'll be just analyzing some emails that are coming in to me, which I never opted in for, and kind of looking at the fingerprints, why they're going to spam. Now, many times I, signed up, I sign up to things, they end up going to spam as well. Legitimate senders, they do everything by the book. Other times, it's the other way around. So I'll try to kind of analyze these things and how this behavior is unpredictable with Gmail and Outlook, and maybe we can deduct some patterns with time based on some variables. Let's look at this email. I never signed up to this. It's just uh, coming to me randomly. So they're cold blasting me. Now let's look at the footer. The footer seems to have their address. Uh, they don't have a phone, which is a bad practice. They do have an option to unsubscribe, which is a good practice, of course. And you have to always have your company name, phone number, address, and option to unsubscribe. Always, always, always unnegotiable. You should never compromise these because you can get in trouble depending on the geography. I mean, I'm in the States, so for me, I can I can be cold blasted uh, with emails. Uh, however, if I want to unsubscribe, I should have the option to. If I want to find out the company information, that you I should also have that option to. Now, I didn't activate the tracking pixel, which means my images are blocked, as you can see here. So for all their concern right now, I'm still registered as an unopened. And that's every email marketing technology out there. They rely on the image pixel, which is, you know, sometimes is one by one pixel, which you really can see it, something like this perhaps. Um, and as soon as I say show, it's gonna track me as an open. Now, the links here are being tracked too. So if I hover over it, you can see on the bottom left, uh, let me see if I can show you this real quick, right here. Uh, you can immediately, you know, tell that this is, uh, a trackable link. Uh, obviously, they're using Acton, and that, that's how they're tracking the open rates. Um, anyway, so this is kind of like what's what's happening in the background right now. On the top, it's saying why this email message is in spam is because they were identified as spam in the past. Still not convincing to me because they did most of the stuff correct. Now, the subject line is a bit long, but that's not the reason why. I don't see a lot of keywords that could be, you know, spam keywords per se. Um, there's a few here and there, but nothing too crazy. The format is clean overall, although it's a full HTML. Um, I don't know what's in the image, so I won't take that risk. Now, wh why did that happen? Why did it go to spam? Let's look at the first fingerprint here, which is from, that's the person, reply to. Um, it seems like they did verify their stuff. So let me dig deeper by clicking on the show original. I always look at the SPF and DCAM, so the pass, pass, pass on all three, uh, that's good. They did everything by the book again. Let me go ahead and see what's the result of uh, the domain or the IP sender reputation. So I extrapolated the IP and then I went ahead and used this, uh, the MX toolbox, free tool for everyone. And it seemed like they are blacklisted. The IP itself, not the domain, seems to be blacklisted here. And um, that could be uh, that could be it. Especially that these are third party that Gmail and Hotmail and all these many SPs they rely on. So they send a call to these tools. If the if the tools return back as a spam, uh, then that could be raising a flag. Um, so again, this could be the reason I do. They did everything by the book, yet they ended up a spam. Most likely, the culprit here is that the uh, the IP address uh, was listed, uh, blacklisted, and uh, thus ended up here. Uh, this is it. Hopefully, this was helpful.